Today we're going to be taking a look at the most powerful and best character for solo gameplay. Now, overall, if you want DPS, just uh, the most powerful character, Jacob is as well. And I'm going to be going over why he's the best solo character. So it's really based off his abilities. So Jacob has a couple abilities that really make him ideal for solo gameplay. The first being that he can mark enemies. So the ability to mark enemies is very useful in solo gameplay because you have no teammates for callouts or anything like that. His Raven, especially once it's fully upgraded, it has a amazing range with the ability to mark so many enemies as well as keep them marked for a significant period of time. So for solo gameplay, this allows you to actually survive. Because once you get going and you're at like level 15 plus, and let me show you the distance on this Raven right now. Oh, wait, wrong one. Sorry, just woke up. So, once you get going, enemies will shred your life bar. So, knowing where they're all at, and you saw that basically just reached the bridge, and I don't uh, recall how long it keeps... Oh, I should have pinned that dude. But you can easily keep dudes pinned for like 10 plus seconds. Probably even closer to almost 20 seconds. Plus, he gets the ability to mark his own targets and deal bonus damage on marked targets. So, if he aims at an enemy for like 1.5 seconds, he'll mark it. That gives him bonus damage. He gets bonus headshot damage against humans. So, he deletes humans very fast. And for vampires, he has like the best ability. And this is also for humans as well, Cloak. And you really only need the first three perks in Cloak to make it really good. I mean, you end up making it excellent, but it is really good simply with these three, giving it faster recharge and lasting longer. So, with Cloak, there is one strategy that if you use, makes it hella useful. So, if you use it just to cancel out aggro and then you end it, as you can see, now I only have to wait like 7 seconds for the ability to go back up. So when you got that vampire on you, you get 5 vampires rush you, or you get a, a mob that just turns the corner. You can just aggro uh, cloak for 1 second, get behind the wall, lose the aggro, and you don't have to wait the full time to be able to use it again. So your ability to use the cloak frequently or when you just got that one vampire, you can put in damage. Then when it comes to attack you, you cloak. It just immediately stops. You pull out your stake launcher or your sniper rifle. You shoot it in the head. And then you just finish it off. And while you're finishing it off, your cloak is regening. And you have the ability to use it immediately again for the next one that rushes you. So cloak is so useful for surviving in solo. Now, his third ability is the most uh, DPS ability in the game. So, for those siphons, um, when you get the named bosses, his ability to kill them simply with his ability and like instant kill them or basically get them to the point where you just have to use one stake launcher to finish them off, he has that. All you really need to make Heartstopper really useful, once again, is three skill points. Yes, you can make it really OP once you get going, but you can make it really, really good simply by making it last longer with more ammunition and so that when you kill an enemy, it immediately goes to the next enemy. So when you have a mob of enemies, you're just holding down LT and spamming RT like you're spamming a semi-automatic rifle that has auto lock-in on the head and just never moves because that's what his ability is. And he gets the extra ammo. And he also gets in another sane solo perk right here. 
Jacob can carry more lock picks and more rewire kits. So he can carry eight and eight. This also makes him very ideal for solo play because he can buy eight and eight on his own. So you don't got to worry about other people opening things. All you have to do is occasionally go back and buy another eight. So this perk right here is probably the best top perk out of all the characters for solo gameplay. So he has three really ideal skills for solo gameplay and he has this right here. He has the same stuff everybody else has. That's all the same. But all three of his perks are not only team perks. One, he's the best character in my opinion overall if you like to play aggressive and you want a DPS character. But this video is the best solo character and Jacob's the best solo character. So I just wanted to put that out there for anybody wondering who the best solo character is. I know some people do prefer to play solo. I like to play co-op, but I occasionally play solo. And Jacob, if you're good and you're a solo game player, pick Jacob. You're, you're going to struggle more with the other characters. Jacob's just ideal. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, share. It helps others find the video. I hope this helped.